first question. This is a, a ten point question. Where's the strangest, most unusual place the two of you have ever made whoopee? I'm not answering that. Oh, you have to answer. Yeah, just, you want to whisper it to me? Yeah, just, just give me an answer, though. Yeah, he will. Come on, I need it. This is a fabulous prize. What do you mean yes. you're not answering? Answer. Oh, you want me to answer it? Okay, was it in the bathroom? No. Was it in the kitchen? Where was it? You gotta give me an answer. No, I need an answer. Go in first. Okay, I'll go in first, but I'm coming back to you. Yeah, what? The Playboy Mansion. The Playboy <laughs> Mansion. Way to right. go, baby. YPO event? Yes, at the Playboy, yeah, I think I was there. Yes? My daughter's... I don't care where your daughter is. Strangest place you've ever made whooping. An airplane. In an airplane. <laughs> Okay, you ready now? Um, I don't know. You can do it. On a stage like this. On a stage like this. All right. Okay. Let's talk about some of the most memorable moments uh, from the Newlywood game. But what's the old urban legend? You know, where's the strangest, most unusual place you ever made Whoopi? Uh, that was that was didn't make it on the air. Uh, but she actually said that. Well, she said worse. All of a sudden, the, the, there was a. Uh, an urban legend that went out there that said, I said, where's the strangest, most unusual place you've ever made whoopee? And the lady was supposed to have said, well, that would be in the butt, Bob. And uh, that never happened. That never happened. About five years ago, I get a call from Game Show Network, and they said, you better come down here and take a look at this. So I go down and take a look at it, and there is this little Caucasian lady from Pennsylvania, right? Her name is Olga. And I said, where's the strangest, most unusual place you've ever say, play, made whoopee? And she says, in the ass. I said, no, 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 no. It has to be a location. Oh, oh, sorry. You know, so that, that didn't make it on the air. We cuckooed that one out. When they did the uh, Chuck Berry story, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, uh, they called her up and they said, we're going to put the clip in the movie. And she said, oh, no, no, I'm a grandmother now. Please don't do that. They said, well, it's worth $5,000. You go right ahead and put it in, you know. So that was one of the few things, but almost everything else made it on the air. So it's an urban legend, but it's also true. It's yeah, it's an urban know. legend. In the butt, Bob, it's an urban legend. It'll probably be on my tombstone, you know. Uh, but uh, it was it was worse than that. And also the title, or, or, or uh, in my book. the title of your book. Yeah, I did. You know, I tried to get clever. I called it, it's in the book, Bob. You know, I wanted to I wanted to cross out butt and put book in there on the on the cover, but the publisher didn't like that idea. <laughs> I thought it would have been cool. <laughs> that probably counts as the most embarrassing moment, or were there others? For me? On the show, yes. I don't know about embarrassing ideas. It's pretty tough to embarrass me. You know, I I was a you see, here's the difference. I was a conduit between the format and the audience at home. And what I tried to do is react and ask questions that I felt the audience would want to. When I first started, I didn't know how to handle the really touchy situations. Uh, but then I started watching Carson. And Carson, with an expression, could say 10,000 words. And I said, oh, that's how you do it. So I developed that you know, kind of a thing. And the audience knew what I was thinking about. But I didn't have to say anything. The year was 1977. I posed a question to a young couple, and no one expected the answer would become an urban legend. Most say it never happened, and, and honestly, I didn't think it happened either. But it did happen. And finally, once and for all, here it is. Number one. I'll ask the bar five-point questions. Girls, tell me where specifically is the weirdest place that you personally, girls, have ever gotten the urge to make whoopee? Uh, in the car on the freeway. Tell me where.
where specifically is the weirdest place that you personally, girls, have ever gotten the urge to make whoopee? The weirdest place, <laughs> Olga? Um. <laughs> yes, Olga? In the ass? <laughs> No, the weirdest location.